Oh yeah, she laid an egg. Multiple eggs. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be giving our leopard geckos a brand new enclosure. I've had these guys for almost 10 years now, somewhere around there. I got them when I was 10 years old. They're the oldest pets I actually own. And today they're gonna be getting a brand new home. So right here we got a 20 gallon glass tank that actually has a sliding door. This thing is all rigged up. It even has a little feeding door on the very, very top. This is not a promo. This is just a really, really cool cage. But pretty much it comes with everything. So today we're just going to be setting it all up and then moving them from their old home to this brand new home. Let's see how it fits on the stand here. I'm hoping it fits perfect because I built it. There we go. Let's see. Boom. Perfect. Literally perfect. So this right here is their old cage. It honestly is way too big for leopard geckos. We're gonna be downgrading them to the 20 gallon. A lot cleaner of a tank, a lot nicer. This thing is very, very old and it's definitely time for an upgrade. Right here, we got a new hide for them. I think they'll really like this. They're able to go inside, also bask on top if they would like. Now for substrate, we're gonna be using the carpet. There's a lot of different opinions when it comes to substrate for leopard geckos, but I personally think this is the easiest to maintenance. Plus it has a cool look to it. The cage also came with some lights. Leopard geckos don't really require a heat lamp. We're gonna be using a heat mat instead, but we are gonna be using the UVB during the daytime. Get the carpet in, should fit perfect. It's a little bendy, but it will flatten out over time. Also look real quick. They actually, it's not just plain carpet. They put a little detail into it and it has like, looks like brick wall, which is pretty cool. Now they're high. Should this go, oh, take that off. Should this go that side or this side? Let's see. Eh. Looks okay. Let's see how it looks on this side. I think that side, for sure. Yeah, that way they can come out from there. It's not all scrunched up. I just found a cricket on the floor. You want it? <laughs> Missed it. Good boy, Ralphie. What a tank. We'll get their water dish in. Go put it like... How does that look? Right there. And then I'll have another hide somewhere over here. So this right here is the moist hide. Pretty much all it is is a Tupperware with some paper towels in it. And I'm able to spray them all down every now and then and it keeps it all moist in there. And that helps them shed and just keeps their skin all nice and healthy. We got their heating pad. We're gonna place it right under where their hide is. That way, that's where they'll be a lot. And then, that should be good. This is their old plant. We'll add it in there for them. They've had this thing for almost seven years now, so. Get these guys out. I think they're gonna be really, really happy. Here's one of them. Really, really pretty though. Oh, make a little sound. Look at that face. Pretty cute. I love that we're able to access it from the side now. Yeah, I know you see that hide. He's oh, he just licked the carpet. He's definitely like, where am I right now? They gotta get used to it. He's kind of just like a fish. Give him a couple days to get settled in. But once he does, he'll absolutely be thriving in here. Um, this one's a little more skittish, but also very, very pretty. Cool feature, how I tell them apart is one, their patterns, but look at the tail. And she was actually born like this. That's how they come out. It's kind of weird because a lot of people think that's the head. Very similar. So they are in the new enclosure. We're gonna get it all put back together here, get their light on and see how it looks all said and done. We got some big news. It is the next day and one of our leopard geckos, I can't really tell. I haven't moved here. I just saw it a little bit instantly ran and got the camera. But we're gonna try to get her out of the way here. Let's see if that's an egg. Oh yeah, she laid an egg. Multiple eggs. Look at this. Two 
leopard gecko eggs right there. It's only been one day and they're already laying eggs. We are gonna remove the eggs just because they aren't fertile. And if you leave them in here, they'll just get all moldy, shriveled up and uh, not smell too good. So we do know they are unfertile, but we also know she's laying eggs. So if we wanted to add a male in here, we can do that and I'm sure they would be 100% fertile. And then we put them in a little incubator, kind of similar to what we did with the ducks. But uh, there are two leopard gecko eggs. There could have been two little future baby geckos in here, but we can definitely try mating her with a male since she is obviously ready to go. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any info on it, also let me know in the comments down below. Fix up her little hide here, put the top back on, let her do her thing. We got our other female right back up in there. Looks like she's going through her shedding process. Everything looks to be doing awesome. Honestly, I think this thing came out sick. If you guys did too, let me know in the comments down below, one through 10, how you think the enclosure came out. Yes, it is smaller than their last enclosure, but I'm telling you for two leopard geckos, 20 gallon is plenty big. That was a 50 gallon tank. We barely got to see them. Now we definitely will see them a lot more. And I really think they'll be a lot happier in here. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!